For outsiders, it's a strange, horrific disease of the tropics, elephantiasis. But for those who live in communities like this in Nigeria, it's a common scourge they face every day. Grotesquely swollen feet, legs, and other body parts broken skin with infected ulcers, a painful disabling disease infecting 120 million people worldwide. Here this woman is an example of the early stage of elephantiasis. The leg is, is very hard. It's very hard for me to press on it. And here if you can see this, there are small bumps developing on her toes and, the, uh, uh, and on the foot. And this will continue to harden and the skin will continue to change so that it will become like an elephant skin. And that's where the word elephantiasis has come from. The medical term for this disease is lymphatic filariasis, or LF, caused by small parasitic worms that cluster in the body's lymphatic system, blocking the flow of lymphatic fluid, causing it to drain downward into the legs, swelling the extremities. There is no cure for LF. No cure, no, but you can mitigate this swelling by uh, washing the part of the body that's affected to keep secondary bacterial infections from coming in and by elevating that part of the body to uh, help the, the drainage of, of fluid that causes the, the, the swelling. But the best intervention for this is to prevent it in the first place. Prevention is the first goal of the Carter Center's lymphatic filariasis program. Like the malaria parasite, the worms that cause LF are transmitted by mosquitoes, and that's the key to its prevention. It can be prevented by treating people by mouth with certain uh, tablets once a year and by uh, providing impregnated uh, bed nets, the same kind that uh, prevent the mosquitoes that uh, transmit malaria from biting people, also prevent these mosquitoes from biting people uh, as well. In Nigeria, the Carter Center has assisted in distributing nearly 60,000 bed nets to village families. And what we're doing currently here is visiting um, each of the homes. And uh, when we arrive, we take the family and we also look at those who are qualified to get the drugs and those who are qualified to get the bed nets. They are actually teaching her now how to hang the, the net so as to enable it yeah, cover the bed completely and also get it tucked underneath so that um, she has complete protection. And by treating millions of people with deworming drugs every year, drugs that kill the baby worms that mosquitoes would otherwise pick up and transmit to others, there is now real progress to show that prevention of lymphatic filariasis is working. Infection rates have decreased by 80% in sampled villages. By combining treatment programs for LF and malaria, the Carter Center is assisting health authorities in Nigeria to maximize the impact of health outreach programs. And in these same villages, the center also joins the fight against other parasitic diseases, river blindness and schistosomiasis. The primary weapons bed nets, oral drugs, and health education. Like this demonstration showing how to clean skin areas affected by LF to minimize secondary bacterial infection. The World Health Organization has set 2020 as the target date for global elimination of lymphatic filariasis. The pharmaceutical companies GlaxoSmithKline and Merkin Company have pledged to donate billions of deworming pills to achieve this goal. Funding is provided by institutional partners, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, GlaxoSmithKline, and the A.G. Leventis Foundation. But what is needed is support by private donors and continued field work by volunteers and professionals like these. In Nigeria, the world's third most endemic country for lymphatic filariasis, the Carter Center plays a leading role in fighting this agonizing disease.